ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we proudly present this podcast to you in all its glory. They are the bearded wonders, the twin sons from different mothers. He is Blake. He is Sal. And together they are the Blake and Sal Show. And if you're not okay with that, I have two words for you. Stay tuned. of the Blake and Sal Show. I'm Blake. Let me bring on my co-hosts. First of all, the man, the myth, the legend, Mark. Dad, how you doing? Uh, fine. Looking just a bit fine. And special guest today, Kyle. Kyle, how you doing? I'm fine. Good. Let me get through the plugs real fast, and we'll get into things. Help support the show by shopping through the Amazon link on the Blake and Sal Show.com. Christmas shopping. Do Christmas shopping at the Amazon link. Trust me on this one, and help the show out at the same time. You can buy our shirts, stickers, hoodies, and more brand new shirts available right now at our T Public Store. Click on the T Public link on our website, or go to T Public and search the Blake and Sal Show. And of course. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Mandy, and when I'm not playing Mrs. Blake, or Dean Ambrose's biggest fan, or, spoiler alert, Olga, I can be found on mkemomsblog.com. There are 30 amazing women in the Milwaukee area who make up the MKE Moms Blog team, and we're all passionate about giving back to the community, about life, and loving our families. You can find us over on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, or at mkemomsblog.com. Please check it out and support us. Thanks! If you've ever wanted to hear people talk about a movie, and that movie was Clerks, this is the podcast for you. I wasn't even supposed to be here today! Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, all over your internet. And finally, new sponsor on the show this week, um, pick up... City of Champions, an American story of leather helmets, iron wheels, and the high school kids from Jersey who won it all by Hank Gole, a friend of the show. Um, he's actually pretty much free sponsoring our show for the rest of the month. That You can go pick up his book because it's a big deal because we are approaching the anniversary on Christmas Day of the 1939 National Championship Garfield Boilermakers, so you should pick it up and read it. It's a very good read. All right. Now let's get into why we're here. This past weekend was the Wizard World Madison. And a lot of people were like, oh my god, you guys went to a Wizard World. That's a big deal. Well, it is a big deal. Especially since this is the second Wizard World I've, I've tried to get us into. And it's the first one that actually accepted us. So yay for that. First things first, I'll go here before we even get into everything. What do you think of your first Wizard World, Kyle? It was very interesting, actually. It's kind of like going to the Ace Comic Con. This is actually a step up for me. So, yeah. and um, Dad, what are your, your opening thoughts here for Wizard World Madison? I thought they were very well organized, uh, and I know I say this as comparison to Ace Comic Con, but I know that was its first time being at that location. But Wizard World was a hundred times more organized, especially where the panel rooms were set up and everything else. 
it wasn't all in one big area. So it, it helped that way. Yeah, on my overall my overall thoughts, first of all, were the fact that it didn't feel like it was full. Like, it didn't feel like there was a, a lot of people there. Like, at Ace Comic Con, I had a hard time walking around on that Saturday afternoon when we were between panels, before the 8th and 7th panel. Yeah. I was having trouble walking around. Like, I just couldn't move around the floor. And here, because of everything being organized, it was like, okay, cool. We can actually move around, and we can actually get some, actually do stuff, and there's no lo- real lines, and you can get through to things, and I appreciate that. Also, I like the fact you can talk to celebrities and not have to pay them just to talk to them. I appreciated that. If there's no line, they had no problem with you coming up and having a conversation with them for a couple of minutes. Well, there you go. As long as you weren't asking for a picture. Yeah. There, you go. Liked. there you that go. That was very, very cool. And, and we'll, before, I heard, before I heard, you got to have a chat with Dean Kane. We'll talk about all that as we go along. Yeah. So... Let's get into things. First of all, we did not go on Friday. Uh, I just couldn't get out of work. There's nearly no other way of putting it. Could not get out of work on Friday this time. Unlike it's Comic Con, I really didn't feel like calling it any more favors. Um, it looks like they actually had more panel rooms open on Friday. They actually had three panel, four panel rooms open on Friday night. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Okay. But the main stuff that we did miss. It looks like I'm looking at the schedule. For those wondering, I'm on the schedule on um, Wizard World Update. They'll schedule up. We missed the um, Behind the Comics panel in Meteor 7. Okay. We missed that one with an artist Q&A. And there was a lot of people there, so it might have been a little bit hectic to be in that one. And then and then we also missed the Marvel vs. DC The Great Debate, which I would have loved to have sat in, but <laughs> there was no chance to be getting there for that one. So, let's get to Saturday. First of all, Holy fucking hell, that weather on Saturday, Dad. Uh, For those who didn't know, and are not in the Midwest, for Saturday, it decided it was not going to stop fucking raining all day! Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There really isn't any other way of putting this. It did not stop fucking raining. For the minute we got up, because, first of all, we didn't get to the afternoon because I had, um, but Crooked with Santa, walking on the block. So, right. that was top priority. Got to go to that. Yep. CJ really enjoyed himself. Good. And then we got home, and we me and you hit the road early, which was nice. But damn it, the hell, the weather sucked. They could not have had a worse weather weekend that for this true. convention. That's true. So we get there. We kind of missed out on a bunch of other stuff that was going on because we got there a little later than we wanted to. But we did get to get to the panel rooms. Yep. And before we got to our first panel, we went into um, the room three to put our coats down. This we can reserve our seats. Yep. We walk in, and this is what we this is what I see, and I got a picture of this. For those who wonder what the hell this picture was, we walk in, and there's a guy. Uh, well, okay, the name of the panel was Security Gaps in Hogwarts. <laughs> yes. That was the name of the panel, and yes. I don't even know how to describe this. Um, apparently, from what I'm reading here, what it was what it's supposed to be, you're supposed to be in detention at. In the Forbidden Forest, and the guy is supposed to be your attention with, and he's supposed to ask questions. Yeah. And he was wearing pretty much nothing but shorts and a, um, what, what the word looking for here? Like overalls. Okay. And yeah. a wig. That was it. That was his whole, barefoot, everything. Like, what the fuck did we just walk into? And the room was half full, and I'm like, what the hell did we just walk into? So, fine, whatever, that was funny. They so put our jackets down, and we went to the convention hall. And damn, I liked it. You're right, Dad. It was so organized. It was so yep. organized. And yep. I give them credit. And when I walked in, I'm like, holy shit, there's a lot going on in here. A lot to do. Yep. But it's like, it doesn't feel busy. Well, what's the first thing that happened when we walked in, Dad? For you. What is the first thing that happened to you the minute we walked in on Saturday afternoon? Who stopped you? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This was... When someone was calling because you left your okay. ID. Okay, let's explain what happened here. Okay. We stopped at the press badges, and I took my ID out to get our badge, get our wristbands, and I forgot my ID on the desk. I grabbed Dad's, forgot mine. I thought I got them both. I didn't. Yep. And we got called back over with my badge, and I recognized the voice, but I didn't click. Who was it? Who called me over with my badge? With my license? The incomparable Kato Kalen. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know... That's a thing that happened that was literal. And and he used your entire name. Yeah, thank you for that. That was really nice. 
Just, it's kind of remind me of dinosaurs. Earl Sneed Sinclair? Oh, God, my whole name. But then, of course, the running gag was, you know, I purchased my ticket by using your identification. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was the first thing that happened. You run in the Kato You know it's going to be a weird weekend when the first thing you do is run in the Kato Kalen. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a weird weekend. So, we walk around the, fa- we walk around the floor. We, had a, we were like, talking about things. But then, I... So what happened was, we're walking around, and I'm looking at some Funkos, you know, like I do. I have yeah. my Funko yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah. I look at my Funkos. And I'm talking to myself. You know, sometimes you just say, talk to yourself, like, oh, that's a guy's price, and that's only $15. It's not yeah. bad. I'm talking to myself. Dad yep. off doing his own thing. Yep. And I get stopped by somebody wearing a Kimba Smith t-shirt. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I, I didn't realize he stopped me. I, and he's like, oh, that's a nice shirt. And he's like... Oh, thank you. I, 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 I made it. I'm like, well, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I know Kevin and Kevin and Jay. I'm like, how do you know Kevin and Jay? Well, I'm their, I'm their toy guy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So we chit chat for a few minutes, and he starts talking about this stuff. And then all of a sudden, he's like, yeah, I, I'm. That's Jay always gets something when I'm in Chicago. I have to make sure I have new stuff for Jay all the time, and all this kind of stuff. And he's like. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I, I host a podcast about Kevin Smith. And he's like, oh, which one? And looking at me, it's like, I know you, but I don't know you. Like, why do I know you? Yeah. Well, I host Clark Smith. like, oh, that's why I know your voice. <laughs> there you go. So apparently now I'm in your at cons. That's yeah. what happened here. Okay, cool. It's a small world after all. Oh, God, no, not that. <laughs> so, we, um, you and me meet up. Yeah. Back at the panels. Oh, and something interesting as we were walking towards the panels, yeah, etc. Talk. Oh yeah, yeah. The, tell them about the tell about this cosplay. Security says, and I'm overhearing him. We're gonna have a problem with this guy in costume. And I overhear the other guy talking to the, the other security guard. Says, "Why?" And he says, "You'll find out in two minutes." Or all of a sudden, I'm going, "Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's stick around for this." Two minutes later. There is a guy coming down the hall, going through a security checkpoint in a full suit that I'm sure he handcrafted or made that was like full robot, robot from head to toe. Not Transformers, just a robot. robot. That was the difference here. I thought it was a Transformer, for, but it was not a Transformer. Nope. Yeah. Full robot from head to toe, and all of a sudden I hear one guy says, how is he going to get through the t- detector? Especially a metal detector. detector. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going yep. to point I'll say about the metal detectors. Number one, boy, were they organized. Because they had four lines going at once, by yep. the way. I yep. have to give that credit. Yep. But number two, they had a spot for your weapons. I was like, oh, they had a Comic-Con. Yep. Can you have a spot for your fake weapons? Yep. Just like yeah. F2 security. It's like, I mean, <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? I don't, I don't care what they say. Safety is first. And if they thought that I the weapon... I just laughed about it. That's all. Yeah, the, and... and if they thought the weapon wasn't supposed to be out, they basically said, okay, check it here. You can pick it up when you're done, which is great. No problem. Well, I thought it was the funniest conversation I had with somebody on the first day was I asked them what the panels were because I wasn't sure of the organization. Yeah. And they're like, okay, you go down the hall by security. Behind the weapons booth is where the panels are. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's a sentence that had to be said. Yep. <laughs> but ultimately, my question is, how is a guy in a robot going to be able to go to the bathroom? Fair question. Absolutely fair question. Well, he just goes right in the suit. Uh, moving right along. Capitor. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we get to the panels, the panels, and the first thing, when we sat down, they're still wrapping up the Hogwarts. We were gone for like an hour, and they're still wrapping up well, the Hogwarts yeah. thing. So we sit down. Front row seats. By the way, there was no issues with sitting front row for any panel no. for us over the weekend, no. which I really liked. Nope, it was a great. put your jacket down, reserve your seat, thing, get, and you're good. Yep. Very nice. Yep. So before we get, so we, so we sit down, and the first panel that me and you attended was something I really wanted to go to. Yeah. And it was Disney trivia against the Disney Brothers, yep. John Hader and Thomas Ian Nichols. Yep. Now, everyone's like, what, what, what the hell do they have anything to do with Disney? Well... They actually are in um, are in Walt before Mickey on Netflix as yep. Walt and Roy, yep. so that's why they're here. Yep. Um, I think Walt Thomas plays Walt. Okay. Yes. So, 
So I still have to watch it. It's on my it's on my list of things to watch. I haven't yep. had a chance to sit for two and a half hours and watch this movie, but I yep. really want to. But I haven't had a chance yet. But they are going. What they did was like when they. And I, I don't know what the hell the concept of this was. Apparently, 